Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. We're gonna take a look at all the major currencies to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week. Let's go. Welcome back guys. Well, as usual, we start with the Dixie and we are looking on the monthly chart. The main reason we're looking on the monthly chart is that we have only one trading day left for this month and that is uh, tomorrow on Monday and um, as you see on the monthly chart we still have a pretty bearish scenario here with this first impulse and now we have a lower high here so uh, we have a clear lower high here and uh, if uh, this month end up to be below this previous low here on the monthly chart we gonna see potential continuation on the dollar to the downside so we had the first leg potentially now this was the the correction and if the month end up to be below this previous low we might see continuation that is uh, what we have right now on the monthly going down to the weekly we see the same scenario so after um, a series of lower highs and lower lows another lower high yet another lower high and he would keep going lower and lower on the highs and and on the lows we see that last week the close was just a little bit shy of uh, the previous low here and if we look further left we see that we are already uh, trading below this low here and uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty dark for the dollar but with one um signal only that showing um bullish divergence on the rsi so this is pretty interesting if we look on the rsi on the weekly time frame we have a pretty nice bullish divergence at the moment so what i'm looking for is are we gonna see some kind of um, shake out of uh, weak hands and then a reversal or are we gonna see a continuation weakness on the dollar so daily time frame we go even lower here and we see that we are testing this low down here and a daily close below that that means potential continuation on the dollar so it is still a bearish market we do not have um anything else to do here uh, than shorting the dollar until we start seeing uh, some kind of reversal signals and as i told you i'm still think there is a potential keep that in mind just a potential that we see some kind of um, uh, spike to the downside and a quick reversal if that would be the case especially in this area here then we might see a little bit of a reversal to the upside otherwise we are still bearish and um, you, it hurts to say it but since i am a, a dollar bull uh, a dollar bull uh, we we gonna need to sell the dollar if uh, this close below and hold below previous lows as i showed you on the monthly chart looking at gold we see that uh, gold did reach the market objective that i mentioned uh, many times now that gold might test the uh, 1777 and that is a key structure level we've got a test of that area and if we uh, check and look left we go to the weekly time frame you see what we are testing right now we are testing this level that got broken here and uh, we having a retest of that area at the moment on the weekly chart the question is are we gonna see more uh, downside on gold before the reversal or not so i measured this leg here from this low to this high and we see that we've got a 50 percent retracement on that pretty interesting level i think uh, that uh, the the most uh, possible scenario for me is to look for bullish evidence here even though we have a start of a potential bearish um, continuation but we need to know if this is a correction of this leg and then continuation to the upside well i think if the dollar to keep that weakness and break lower as i showed you then potentially we might see upside on gold but looking on the daily time frame we did reach the market objective a possible level of interest we are testing or just close below the 200 moving average previously when the uh, gold reached the 200 moving average we start seeing a strong bounce to the upside and it's been acting a nice dynamic support so far so 
the gold is testing a level of interest for the bulls now we want to see if the bulls are really interested to show up at this level or not because if we see uh, bullish evidence here it is a good level to start looking for at least a retest a retest of this broken structure um, up here at around 1850 could be a nice uh, target short term on uh, on the gold euro usd so as you see euro usd been building up lower high, higher lows all the way and then we had a breakout last week above these previous highs and uh, it is about to test the last line of defense here if we take a look on the weekly chart on the euro you see that we are still in a strong bullish trend we had this impulse higher low another break above previous uh, major structure and then a little bit of a um, range and now uh, a potential break to the upside so uh, the euro did break above this uh, range here and about to test this last line of defense that is uh, where the the bears defended uh, this level previously and we've got this uh, correction back down so keep an eye on that but it is looking strong and bullish and we might see continuation if uh, the euro hold above this previous high so if uh, the bulls manage to break and hold above that previous high on the retest we look for uh, to see if this market will hold this level and if that would be the case then we might see continuation otherwise the rsi is on the overbought territory on the daily time frame keep that in mind and even here we have a huge divergence on the weekly time frame um, a huge bearish divergence on the weekly time frame to keep in mind this is going to be very very interesting because these divergence usually on the weekly time frame they are a, a big deal and uh, we need to um, keep an eyes on those just in case uh, what um, uh, what would happen would be a fake out and then back down so keep that in mind even though we are looking uh, potentially for a continuation to the upside sterling um, usd so sterling uh, failed uh, to break higher here it did reach a level of interest looking on the weekly time frame we see that this area is a pretty interesting level for the bears to defend but keep in mind that the lows are getting higher all the way here it is a um, market that been trending to the upside but right now testing a pretty interesting level of uh, resistance that's why we need to keep an eye on this level in case we might have some reversal as you see here previously after the breakout we had a nice correction back down and then continuation we broke higher here but looking left we knew that even if we break higher we're gonna have some trouble at this level and it did it did uh, had some issues at this level as you see thursday and friday last week if we go down to the four hour time frame we see this nice double top and a huge divergence here and then a lower high broke structure and what i'm waiting to see here if this to continue to the downside i want to see this level broken as well to then start looking for a potential uh, co correction back down before any continuation i think the 200 moving average on the four hour could be somewhere here if the market break lower to look then for this uh, bounce higher so short term if you see a break here you might look for a retest and then continuation lower but i'm not sure that we're gonna get a total reversal to the downside this looked pretty interesting and the, it is building up for some kind of breakout that is what it looks like usd jappy so um usd jappy did a nice and strong bounce here we had uh, a deep correction with a higher low now established and uh, what i'm looking for next week to see if this would be another higher low if that would be the case that would be a couple of higher lows and then potentially it might uh, it might continue to the to the upside as well looking on the four hour time frame so we had another impulse correction and if this level keep holding that means that higher low here is yet another one so we had the lowest low a higher low and and if we get this second higher low that would set up for a continuation to the upside on this market so all in all 104 is an interesting level and it might be defended from the bulls on this market um usd chief also um 
still inside this uh, range here pretty choppy scenario as you see and um, looking on the weekly time frame we see how uh, up and down it been and on the daily the range is still clear there's nothing uh, to change here in this scenario we still buying the lows of this range selling the high until we have a breakout there is nothing else to do and if we go back to the weekly and look left we see that if this area got broken there is nothing to hold it on the way down so this is going to be very very interesting next week to see what will happen and even here we do have a huge divergence on the weekly time frame all these dollar uh, more uh, pairs have a huge divergence on the weekly and that is it for me is very very interesting i do love divergence on higher time frame so again guys keep an eye on the low here of this range as far as this holding as support we might see one more bounce to the upside but again if broken we start looking for potential more downside and be careful about fake outs at these lows as well usd cad back to the bottom of this area here uh, it failed to uh, bounce higher looking on the weekly time frame you see that the market is sitting at a pretty interesting level here on the weekly and um, i think if uh, this to break lower then of course we might continue to the downside but even here we do have this huge bullish divergence on the rsi on the weekly time frame not much of it on the daily though but in my opinion this is still a key support level it is still not broken structure yet and uh, for that i'm still looking to uh, oops i'm still looking for this market to potentially potentially bounce back up so before any break uh, to the downside look for potential uh, bullish defense here but if we got the break to the downside then that's would probably be game over and one more leg to happen on usd cad as well aussie usd testing also the last line of defense looking left here we see that this market uh, start testing the last line of defense and the main reason i'm saying that is the last line of defense that because if we look on the weekly time frame if this market to break above this high here whoops what is this uh, took the wrong tool uh, if this market to break above this here then you see that will open the way for more upside looking left there is not much of a trouble on the way here so all in all key resistance here is about uh, to getting tested and even here we have a huge bearish divergence on the rsi on the weekly time frame daily time frame again we are at the um, overbought territory and we are testing a key structure level the last time we tested this area the market did a nice leg to the downside but uh, it could not continue lower and then we start seeing a reversal to the upside so first off look to see if we're gonna see a bearish defense here after a fake out to then start looking for potential continuation but if the breakout happened and it holds above this level then we might continue to the upside oh man it hurts me to say that we're gonna sell the dollar for so long time new zealand usd here we have a real breakout actually we still uh, have a market that is trending to the upside we saw the market breaking above this level breaking above the 200 moving average on the weekly yeah and uh, it did break above this major area as well and we do have a little bit of a divergence here but nothing at all as the rest of the markets we had uh, i showed you uh, earlier so keep an eye on this this now a weekly breakout it is a big deal looking on the monthly chart we see that it may end up to have a monthly breakout of the, above this previous high and if that would be the case a monday close at least as uh, this monthly candle looks like then we might have a retest of these levels up here yeah so keep that in mind this uh, market been uh, low for a long time now if we look at this we had this impulse correction and then deeper move to the downside and now it is uh, it was pretty cheap here and uh, the bulls took it and they are still pushing this market to the upside so 
all in all we're still uh, in a bullish market on the higher time frame but if we look on the daily and on the four hour time frame we see that it is slowing down a little bit right uh, at this level here and when these patterns happen a wedge like this usually that means we're gonna get a one more leg to the downside so it could be soon time to see this correction after this breakout a correction back down and then continuation now if you don't like to trade corrections you wait for the, the market to reach this level for a retest and the continuation otherwise you wait for this uh, correction to start and uh, you start uh, following it looking on the four hour time frame we see it clearly uh, this wedge it could be an ending wedge which means a break lower then if we get a lower high or a flag or something like that below the, the the wedge we start looking to sell this market all the way down here toward this area so next week this scenario might happen before any continuation to the upside as as i told you on the higher time frame there is a potential continuation but the market never moves one direction only they need to go back do some correction before they keep moving forward so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot do not forget to hit that like button please do not to add uh, forget to add a comment that will help the video a lot thanks a lot watch the next video and see you next week bye bye